Scripture say? Verse 15. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. With all your get, get understanding. You have to have understanding, so you have to pray for understanding. Lord, what did I say? What are you trying to get me to reveal for the church? Or are you mocking and, and playing a trickery game? Uh-huh. Damn well, best sister Sarah won't be looking at me sideways no more. Uh, I'm right. in tongues. <laughs> See what she do. My damn little battle the battle in the, the, the church. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse 16. What does it say? Else when thou shalt bless with the Spirit. Y'all heard what he said? Else what? Else when thou shalt bless with the Spirit. Right. How shall he that occupy the room of the aunt Lord say amen? amen. Or meaning I agree. I agree. At the at your giving of thanks. Seeing that he understandeth not what you say. Oh what you just said. So he what said, when the room is occupied, how can anybody say amen? They don't know what you're saying. You just holler. Boogie boogie. Boogie boogie. Amen. Hey, boogie boogie. Hey. Hey. So the preacher can speak in tongues of faith for the Verse 17. What's that? For thou verily givest thanks well, but the other is not edified. Right. I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all. Right. Yet in the church, I had rather speak five words. How many words? I have rather speak five words right. with my understanding that by my voice I might teach others also. Right. Than 10,000 words in an unknown tongue. Y'all see that? Man. Hey, verse 20. What it say? Brethren, be not children in understanding. How be it? In malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. Be, be, what? be men. Be children in malice because children fight and then they play it again in 20 minutes. That's right. Be that way in malice. Be, be ready to, to hook back up with your boy if you didn't have an off. You know, we can call each other a few names and then you try to, okay, man, we both tripping, man. We both tripping. And you, you plan again, so to speak. Yeah. But in understanding, be men. Don't be led astray by bow, strange tongue that don't make no sense. And you sitting up there like you marvel. Had a tongue twister? Go ahead. Verse 21. What does it say? In the law it is written. In the word, in the law it is written. Right. With men of other tongues. And other lips will I speak unto this people, right? And yet for all that will they not hear me, okay? Say the Lord. Hey, we hey, almost hey. wrapping this up, y'all. We're going down verse twenty-nine. We're closing out. So what? Hey, so what they said? Who no. knows? Somebody over twenty-eight. What? Brother, that brother right there was studying back there. Yeah. <laughs> and we get it every weekend. We get out with every day. Hey, that's, that's what's up, bro. Go ahead, y'all. Let's get it. Verse 22. Uh, hold it down, y'all. We're about to close out. Go ahead. Verse 22. What does it say? Wherefore, tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe. What? Not to them that believe. Oh, that's another problem, too, ain't it? Tongues are, are for a sign for them that, that Not to them that not believe. Not to them that believe. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Wherefore, tongues are for a sign. Not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. Right. But prophesy. But what? But prophesy. Right. So not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. See, we believe. So prophesy talking about the second coming of Christ as we see these things going down, as we see ourselves moving into the new Sodom and Gomorrah. That's yeah. prophecy being revealed. Uh, yeah. We witness in that. Go ahead, bro. Verse 23. What does it say? And therefore, the whole church be come together in one place. Right. And all speak with tongues. Right. And there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers. Will they not say that you are mad? See, if every one of us in here spoke in a different tongue, if the Holy Spirit gave all us spoke tongue, each one of us speaks in a different language in the world. And we got an unbeliever or a newcomer come here and they hear all these different languages, they're like, Ain't none of that English. Right. Same way you be. They, 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 they are mad. And you know how 
how they got around this or tried, attempted to get around it at, at uh, the church down on St. Louis Avenue in Sarah. Mm. What is it? Uh, uh, Y'all know the one, Bishop, uh, whoever. Bishop name. Scott. Scott yeah. down there. He said, when he read it, he said, you know what we gonna tell him, church? We mad with the spirit of the law. That's what we gonna tell him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Verse 24. Hold it down. Verse 24. But if all prophecy, but if all do what? If all prophecy, right? And there come in one that believe not, right? Or one unlearned, right? He is convinced of all. What is he? He is convinced of all, right? He is judge of all, and thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest. And so falling down on his face, he will worship God and report that God is in you of a truth mm, through prophecy. Go ahead. Verse 26. What does it say? How is it then? Brethren, when you come together, every one of you have a song, mm. have a doctrine, right. have a tongue, right. have a revelation, right. have an interpretation. Right. Let all things be done unto edify. Unto what? Let all things be done unto edify. Okay. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, if any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two. By how many? Let it be by two. Okay. Or at the most by three. Right. And that by course, let one interpret. Let one do what? Let one interpret. Must be an interpreter there. Go ahead. Mark that verse 27, sister. Verse 28. But if there be no interpreter. But if there be what? But if there be no interpreter. Right. Let him keep silent in the church. And let him speak to himself and to God. We can hold that, y'all. Now, we're going to close on out, y'all, but I just want y'all to see how Tyler Christmas. Perry, with all of his money, called himself on speaking tongues and, and already set up. Listen to this. I don't know if y'all can hear this, but we're going to close out right after this. Look. He didn't have his checkbook. He said he wrote a check for 113000 for Psalm 1 and 13. So he can write a $113,000 check. They looking at you, what the big rolls down the series building going to write? <laughs> yeah, but he's, in, but he's in his direct check. Bounce the bank. <laughs> Watch me finish speaking. Now look at me, he's going to put his hands on him, look. 
He's already in position. He's made all already two. Already in position. He wants good for you. So look, here you go. Watch the boys, brother. TD Snake's boys. <laughs>